Hello everyone. I am Divarani Pandran Babar, working as an assistant professor at AISMS IIT Pune. So today we will discuss what is the concept of decision making in management system. First, we will discuss what is decision making. Decision making is a process that results in the selection of a course of action among several alternative scenarios. That means decision making is daily activity for any human being. That means there is no any exception about that. When it comes to business organizations, decision making is a habit and a process as well. So effective and successful decisions result in profits while unsuccessful ones cause losses. So therefore, corporate decision making is the most critical process in any organization. In a decision making process, we choose one course of action from a few possible alternatives. Now, there are some factors affecting the rational decision making that means some inadequate inf information time and cost perception of decision maker experience of decision maker decision makers personality values of decision maker and capacity of decision maker these are the some factors affecting the rational decision making now there are some important steps of the decision making process. First step is identification of the purpose of the decisions. So in this step, the problem is analyzed. And there are some couple of questions one should ask when it comes to identifying the purpose of that decision. That means what exactly is the problem? Why the problem should be solved? Who are the affected parties of the problem? Second step is about information gathering. So a problem of an organization will have many stakeholders. That means in addition, there can be dozens of factors involved and affected by the problem. So in this process of solving the problem, you will have to gather as much as information related to the factors. In the step number three, principles for judging the alternatives. So in this step, the baseline criteria for judging the alternatives should be set up. And when it comes to defining the criteria, organizational goals as well as the corporate culture should be taken into consideration. In the step number four, brainstorm and analyze the choices. So for this step, brainstorming to list down all the ideas is the best option. Step number five, evaluation of alternatives. So use your judgment principles and decision making criteria to evaluate each and every alternative. That means in this step, experience and effectiveness of the judgment principles come into play. So you need to compare each alternative for their positives and negatives also. Step number six is select the best alternative. Step number seven is execute the decision. Step number eight is evaluate the results. So evaluate the outcomes of your decision. That means see whether there is anything you should learn and the, then correct in future decision making. So this is one of the best practices that will improve your decision making skills. Now, there are two types of decision making systems based on manager's knowledge. That means closed decision making system and open decision making system. So closed decision making system means manager is working in known environment that is closed decision making system and open decision making system means manager is working in unknown environment. 
so there are two basic models in decision making that means rational model and normative model so rational models are based on judgments and it helps in selecting the most logical and sensible alternatives and normative model of decision making considers some constraints that may arise in making decisions that means such uh, as time complexity and some uncertainty of 